is going on everyone and welcome to cart 6 t3 my name is ben thank you very 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 much for stopping by <laughs> i gotta change it up every now and again <laughs> if you didn't mind hitting a like on this video possibly subscribe to the channel if you're brand new here that would be fantastic as well uh track or er, track Kurt 63 is brought to you by Track Tac Tire Treatments. Track Tac Tire Treatments. Track Tac Tire Treatments. Track Tac Tire Treatments. As always, if you have any questions or concerns about Track Tac, uh, if you're changing off of something else, if you're brand new to the prep game, if you have any anything at all, uh, send your questions this way. My email and all that stuff's always in the drop down menu on every single video. Uh, you can get a hold of me on message or anything like that. If I don't know the answer, I can get you that answer. So, all right, uh, we just got done with uh, not too long ago, got done with the Dirt Art Racer Talk Live. Um, we we're supposed to have a special guest on there, but it didn't pan out it's okay uh <laughs> anybody who has been to that live knows that i uh, as long as you guys are willing to talk to me as willing as long as you're willing to interact with me i will surely keep on talking and uh it's so much so that i you got me in trouble with my wife and we had to walk the dog and she was not upset then when it was dark out <laughs> anyway um so I considered doing this video a couple weeks ago. I didn't really, you know, I needed to think about it a little more. I, I think I mentioned that last week or something that I was going to do a video on this. And I thought, hey, you know, why not? This isn't a criticism video. Uh, again, this is engagement. If you can think of anything else to add to this list, I think it would be fantastic. And it, it is all in general to help the sport of karting. Um, and that is... Uh, tracks and social media I, you could add series into this as well if you wanted but in general uh there's a couple things that i think some tracks do very very well and some tracks don't do as good and i just thought in general you know what what information from a social media side could tracks maybe think about doing you know even if they do it maybe do a little better Okay, uh, I did make a list. It's right here. So, as unprofessional as it is, if you see me look down at the list, that's why. Uh, if my if my my <laughs> if my attention is no longer with you and it is down here, there is a reason reason for it. Okay, uh, the first thing I have on the list is stay relevant. Uh, I cannot tell you how many times. Again, this I'm not bashing on tracks. I'm just this this is stuff I would love to see. Stay relevant. Uh, sometimes I will click on a Facebook page. We're going to use Facebook as the the uh, as the general concept here because that's what I use. You know, maybe it's because I'm I'm older. Uh, that's the reason for that. But you know, Bob's Four Cycle used to be huge on that. Uh, you know, there there are other avenues to get your information about tracks and stuff. But I think that a lot of tracks exist because of their current racers, and I think that they could use a little better presence on social media to get their name out there to attract new people. So when I'm talking about staying relevant is if your, your track does have a uh, social media presence, if they do have a Facebook page, I think that I've, <laughs> and I've seen this, like I click on a page, you know, I go to look for some information or whatever, and it's August and I see a post from April. That was the last post that the, the track had made. Uh, was the beginning of the season. And I'm like, what's going on, guys? Like, <laughs> I think that as with anything, advertising, you know, track tech, beard octane, you know, when you stay present in people's minds, they think about you more. So I'm not saying, you know, browbeat the crap out of everybody, but I'm saying that if you are holding local races, you know, if you're holding weekly races, Show pictures, have somebody take pictures, have somebody run your account. You know, there's, I'm sure there are some younger people of the younger generation, even though they don't prefer to use Facebook, but 
somebody that could navigate your social media platform for you, that they could go on to Facebook and they could post pictures. They could just walk around the pits and take pictures. They could get some video. They could share things like, you know, if there are people running GoPros at your track, they could, uh, you know, go on to YouTube and look up these races. Hey, this, this, this race happened to our track. You know, go ahead and share that to your thing. Not only, you know, or, you know, make it, Make it a thing to where you ask racers, hey racers, if you have any videos of any racing at our track, please, you know, feel free to post it on our page. These type of promotional things only excite people to come and, and either race at your track or come view your product. I think it is a win-win with a little bit of effort. Um, I just, you know, sometimes it does bother me that, you know, I'm don't get me wrong, I'm not I'm not the type of personality that has to be up in everybody's faces all the time. I mean, I, I do go live once a week. Uh, you know, I do make some TikToks here and there, and I do put shorts out on, on YouTube and, and, and stuff. I I stay relevant, but also I'm just like not 24-7. I don't, I don't need everybody looking at me 24-7. But I, I think a little more effort would probably go a long way. You know, we're, we're in tight times right now, and... If you can excite somebody to come have a good time at your track, I think the effort would be rewarded if you did, you know, something like that, staying relevant and staying in people's faces. Okay, secondly, uh, information. Your page should have some sort of information. Now, things that I would love to see, and I don't mean that or there is a pin option or if you have a page, not, not just a personal page, but you have the ability to have, you know, different segments, information about blah, blah, blah. This information could be put into one of those. If not, you make a post and you you have the ability to pin it to the top of your page. So when somebody clicks on your Facebook page, they're able to see that front and center. This is, this is the information that we need you to know right now. Now, the things, there, there are different Different pieces that you could put in there, but I think, you know, these are some basic ones. Your rules package, you know, you're, you're going to want to do, if you have, you know, whatever classes you're running, whatever rules you're running, if you're running AKRA, if you're running NKA engines for clone racing, uh, if you have Predator, if you have tire rules, this and that. Um, one of the bigger things is sometimes I have a hard time finding addresses for your tracks. I think that that should definitely be a thing that should be pinned to the top of your page or in your information section. Here is our address. You want people to come. You know, it's great that you have a, a grassroots, you know, bunch of people that know about your track in, you know, wherever you are. But unless other people know where that's at, unless those people bring other people, I think it would be better for, you know, hey, I want to I want to go to blah 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 place in PA. I need that address. I need it. I need it to be in it and need it to be relevant. I need it to, you know, if it's a, if it's a hard place to get to, give specific directions. Here's a, here's a physical address. You're going to want to take a right on blah, blah, blah street and left on, you know, just make it easier on your consumer to get there. Um, what else? Uh, size, size of the track. Um, you know, that's, that's relevant to some people, but I will say this. You can mention the size of the track but what I think would be an even better idea would be to giving a starting gear ratio for whatever class. Now, we're going to omit UAS open stuff because who knows the RPMs that they're going to want to turn. But in general, you are going to have a clone class or clone classes of some sort. You're probably going to have some sort of predator class. Um, a starting gear ratio might not be a bad idea. I can't tell you how many times I have asked so-and-so or so-and-so, you know, hey, what gear is run there? Am I running 1163? Am I running a, a, a 1257? Am I running a, a whatever? It would be really cool of a track to, to put a baseline. You don't have to get into specifics, but hey, go and ask your, your racer, say, what, what gear ratio are you running? You're running 11, uh, 1157, fantastic. Put that on there. Clone, starting clone gear ratio 1157. Perfect. Now people could go to your page. They could find this out. Same with Predator, you know, just like, or if you have a gear rule, make that, you know, in in your rules or whatever. But hey, we have a we have a Predator class, but you are limited to, you know, running whatever gear ratio it is. Or, you know, 
you know, things like that. So uh, down here, what do I have? I'll, you know, obviously if you have a, you know, this, this definitely thing, and I think most tra tra tracks do a good job of it. If you have a tire rule, if you're running Burris, if you're running Reaper, if you have these classes, these are things that, that should be on there. Um, yeah, I think that's, you know, basically that I'm, I want to leave this video up for interpretation. These are just a couple of things. Like I said, this wasn't a bashing, you know, type of video. These are just a couple of things that I wanted to see put on there. Also, uh, in along the lines of staying relevant, in the line of information, points. I know they're a pain to do, but if you are keeping points at your track, post points. People love that crap. They really do. And it, sometimes when it's a secret or, you know, you, you're guessing where you're at or whatever, I know, it, you know, I'm sure if you're keeping points at your track, you're keeping weekly points, you're, you're already doing it. Copy, paste, and people will love you for that. I, I know that, I know it's a pain. I know it's, a, you know, along the lines of somebody has to keep up on that stuff, but I'm, I assure you, people will really enjoy knowing where they are in points. If you're, if you're searching out your first track championship, if you're, if you have a couple wins that you want to show, you know, some of your sponsors, hey, listen, you know, look at, I have a win here, here, and here, you know, this was a, there's just so much that goes into it. People who chase points would love to know those points. I know I've seen it a multitude of times on, on certain, you know, tracks. I get, they'll just be random person and they'll put points with a question mark. Please post your points. This is, this is definitely a, a social media thing that, you know, it's just, it's, it's a simplistic thing, but people will absolutely love it for it, for it, doing that for them. Um, so there you go, guys. Like I said, you know, my comments are always open from a racer standpoint, uh, from a track, if you're a track promoter, if you're, if you're somebody who has a track, you know, they give, you know, put down in the comments, Hey, what do you think about this information? What are other things that, you know, maybe could be considered putting on a social media platform? I think just in general, the idea is to help the sport along. I mean, it's, you know, it's no secret here. I've mentioned it before. Um, you know, disposable income is down. People are, you know, struggling a little bit. It's harder to get carts to the track. So I think maybe, you know, a, maybe just a, a little extra effort to entice those people to come out and race, Even if not the race to come and watch, you know, make it easier on people, make your presence known, make these things really simple for people to find out what they need to know and come visit your track. I think it just, it, you know, one, one, one hand scratches the other type of thing. It, I think it just will do in general, good things, a little more effort here and there. Not saying that you don't put it forth effort. This isn't, like I said, it's not, I'm not being critical, but I just think in general, a little more effort here or there, this information that, you know, would help a, a racer like me. If I want to go to a track, I've never been things like gear ratios, things like, you know, track size times, you know, how much is it for gate costs? All these things, all the information available to anybody who wanted to come to track is a very, very good thing. So, uh, like I said, uh, comments are open. If you have other things that maybe a track, you know, that maybe track owners will watch us. Maybe they'll say, hey, you know, let me go down in the comments, see what the racers are saying, see what, you know, what would you like to see on a social media pr platform? Would you like to see more pictures shared? Would you like to all the things, just, just go ahead, you know, the engagement, you know, that I, I reply to every single one of you, uh, in a timely manner, not always, it's sometimes I'm doing stuff. So it's not always, you know, you, you post a comment and then I'm right on it, but I do have a job and stuff like that, <laughs> but I do in a timely manner, try to get everybody's comment, at least give you a thumbs up, like a, Hey, great idea. Or, or, you know, thank you so much for, for engaging, whatever it is, or, you know, it just be some, I take a lot of screenshots, like that's a great idea for a video. You know, that's this, this channel exists because of you guys for that reason, because you engage with me, you give me these ideas for the videos and I love it. So, uh, there you go, guys. Uh, I am going to be racing in two days. I still thinking about running the open. Half of me says, don't do it. The other half says, do it. Dry, slick, lots of horsepower. <sighs> Or do I just run a couple classes with a clone? 
Ugh, decisions, decisions, but I gotta scale these guys. I gotta yeah, have this video done so I can edit it, get it, uh, you know, get it uploaded and ready for Sunday so I can race on Saturday. Should be some GoPro footage coming your way from whatever I do on uh, Saturday there, but uh, thank you very much, guys, for stopping by. Like I said, comments are always open. Uh, track Tech, Track Tech, I did it again. Cart 63 is brought to you by Track Tech Tire Treatments. Treatments for tires and tracks. And uh, thank you very much, everybody, for stopping by. And I will see you in the next video. Later.